This is example 6 from lesson 6.1. A boat leaves a dock heading north 27 degrees west at 6 knots nautical miles per hour. Determine the number of nautical miles north and the number of nautical miles west that the boat travels in a half hour, round to the nearest tenth of a nautical mile. All right, let's see if we can get a picture of this. Now, what we have is we have a boat starting off right here. And instead of heading due north, he is going to go 27 degrees to the west, which is this direction right here. And so there is our right triangle. And we are supposed to figure out this side right here, how many miles north he's gone. This side right here, how many miles west he has gone. And all we know is that he's traveling at six knots in a half an hour. Well, keep in mind the formula, the distance is equal to the rate times the time. This will tell us our hypotenuse right here, how far he's traveled to get from here to this point right here after a half an hour. All right, so the distance is going to be the rate, which is six knots, times the time, which is a half an hour, and that's going to give me three. So he has traveled three nautical miles in a half hour. Okay. Now, with respect to our angle of 27 degrees here, the three represents the hypotenuse of the right triangle because it's across from the right angle. The W up here represents the side opposite from the angle, and that makes the N be the adjacent side of our right triangle. Okay. In order to solve for n, we're going to have to use the cosine function because that's the one that involves the adjacent side and the hypotenuse. So the cosine of, or with respect to our 27 degree angle, is going to be our adjacent side north divided by the hypotenuse 3. And if we put this over 1 and cross multiply, we will have 3 times the cosine of 27 degrees equal to 1 times n. And then when we put that into the calculator, that is going to give me 2.7 nautical miles. All right, now we're going to try and figure out what the west side is over here. And since this is the opposite side from our angle and we had our hypotenuse, that means we need to use the sine function. So the sine with respect to our 27 degree angle is going to be the opposite side W divided by the hypotenuse 3. If I put all this over 1, I can cross multiply. This is going to give me 3 times the sine of 27 degrees, and that's going to be equal to 1 times W. And then when we put that into the calculator, that is going to give me 1.4 nautical miles. So our sailor traveled 2.7 nautical miles north and 1.4 nautical miles west.